Welcome to another episode of The Cynical Writer. Before we get started, I would just like to remind everyone that the best way to support this channel is to purchase my books, and I've left a link in the description section in case you're interested. Now, what do I consider to be bad writing? Now, one thing you must keep in mind is that writing is purely uh, subjective. So if you don't find value in anything that I say, then feel free to discard it because the only thing that matters at the end of the day is that you like your writing and that you enjoy your writing, regardless of what anyone else thinks. So just keep that in mind. Now, what I consider to be bad writing is rather complex because I don't think that any, for example, any genre is inherently bad. It's all about the way that it's done. Now, before I can talk about bad writing, I must first talk about bad readers because there, because bad writing ultimately stems from uh, reader demand in many cases. So, for example, um, there are two genres in particular that I think are, are often not done well. They can be done well, but not necessarily. For example... Men, and of course many men don't read at all. There are, there are many men who, who would rather play video games, do other things, and, and rather re, re, than read. And that's a whole separate conversation. But many men, when they consume entertainment, whether in the form of a book or a movie or what have you, they ultimately look for a kind of thrill ride, something that will thrill them, something that will give them a form of, es, of escape. But they don't really view the art that they consume as being a, a serious medium, that, that they view it as purely escapism, like a theme park ride. That's how they view art, which ultimately leads to a lot of uh, fantasy books and uh, fantasy art of the like being purely about satisfying, you know, um, the... Uh, the uh, the debased senses of 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 their audiences. So things are far more focused on, on action and spectacle than in deep or complex uh, storytelling or complex uh, description or writing of any kind. And the same thing can be said of the romance genre. Again, I'm not saying that romance is an inherently bad genre. I mean, Pride and Prejudice is a romance, for example, but. And I, and I know what I'm going to say here is probably going to offend many people, but it's something that I sincerely believe. A lot of romance books are simply porn for women. That's what they are. Uh, um, they're meant to basically satisfy um, the debased senses of their female readership, but females have basically fooled themselves into thinking that it, because it's literature that it doesn't count as actual pornography, but in some cases it really does. You know, when they talk about, oh, I like the spice scenes or I like scene when people say I like spice they're basically saying I like a, a literary porn and to me any kind of writing or art that caters to the debased instincts uh, of, of of its audience any kind of a kind of art that insults the intelligence of its audience cannot be considered good art in good in my estimation. Uh, any art that does that, I believe to be inferior, whether it, whether it's romance novels in the case of women or whether it's a lot of fantasy books in the case of men. And, and that's what's so uh, frustrating to me about modern literature is and, and I'm not saying that there that there isn't a place for that in some form, although I would have some moral objections in in in, in the in the context of the romance. but um, but ultimately, uh, but but it does offend me though as a writer that people seem to be interested in because it does because romance sells more than any other genre, particularly for that reason because it is a form of pornography in many cases for women, and, and I just find that to be uh, very frustrating, and, and, and for the and I just consider such if a work of art again appeals to your debased instincts to you to your primitive um, urges or instincts I I cannot consider it to be uh, good art uh, in good faith. I, I don't believe uh, such writing uh, qualifies as good art in my estimation. And um, and ultimately, but but again, because people, they don't want to actually have to take art seriously. That they, they want something that will satisfy, again, their, uh, their um, debased senses, their primitive senses, and they don't actually want to use their intellectual abilities in order to uh, consume art. And... 
And that now I'm not saying that I, that there isn't a place for again for certain lower kinds of art. Um, I, again, I'm not talking about something that is is uh, stupid. You know, you can make something that's stupid and, and can, you can do it in a clever way. I'm talking about things insult the intelligence uh, of the of the of the audience. Such art, I don't consider to be um, true art in any way, shape, or form. And that ultimately is what I consider to be bad writing and bad art at the end of the day. And uh, and again, I, I'm sorry if I if I have offended some. Again, you can do what you want. This is just my personal opinion, but that's what I consider to be bad art. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, you can check out my books in the description section. And until next time, goodbye.